Hello you plonkers and welcome back today to another video on the Druzy channel. Today I'm applying my trade of sports science to AFL football, in particular set shot goal kicking. In past goal kicking challenges I have been humiliated by Jamon Dillon twice, by Caden and Cookson once and also by True Footy himself. And in the comments I'm scrolling through and people are saying, Druzy, you're kicking the ball straight, but you keep deviating to the right when you kick it, and the ball goes straight to the right. So that got me thinking, hmm, what is the sports science behind an AFL set shot? In today's video, I'm going to be talking through the sports science of an AFL set shot. I like to call it Druzy's Theory of Goal Kicking. I hope this can help you out with your set shot if you're a footballer at home. If it does, make sure you drop a like, drop a sub if you're new. Let's get into it. The first sports science principle of Druzy's theory of set shot goal kicking is linear momentum. What is linear momentum? According to Google, linear momentum is momentum in a straight line. E.g., linear momentum is created as the athlete sprints in a straight line down the 100 metre straight on the track. So let's apply that to AFL football. When you're taking a set shot, linear momentum is created by walking in a directly straight line. Often when I'm watching football or I'm coaching football, I see players that take a set shot and they'll start to slightly deviate to one side on their run up. And I can often predict what way the ball's gonna go, whether it's gonna be a behind to the right or out on the full, or if it's gonna go to the left or out on the full. So obviously some players are different. Some players have mastered the arcing run like Buddy Franklin, Josh Kennedy. To get your body in a straight line whilst doing a set shot, one thing that I like to do is have my body square to the goals. If I'm directly out in front, I like to line up my shoulders between the goal post. Left shoulder to the left goal post, right shoulder to right goal post. There's a catch to that though. If it's windy, you may have to position your body on a slight angle towards one of the goal posts. If the wind is coming from right to left, position your body slightly more to the right. And if the wind's coming from left to right, position your body slightly more to the left. But the main thing is, walking in a straight line and gradually building up your linear momentum. What do I mean by gradually building up your linear momentum? I like to think of the speed of a set shot on a scale continuum of one to 10. 10 being an all out sprint, zero being not moving at all, one is a walking pace. I like to build up that pace from a one to a six. And once you hit that six out of 10 speed, you're ready to kick your set shot. You have to see it to believe it. But if that went any more middle of the goals, I reckon it would have just split the earth into two. It was that clean. You want to gradually build up your momentum. You don't want to be walking, walking along and then sprint because your momentum is going to be all over the place and you're not going to have control over your running and your ball drop. So gradually build it up. Constantly walking in a straight line and just making sure that you kick the ball straight. It should go directly through the goals. If you think that the camera lens is the goal, right, and I'm having a run up that isn't linear, the momentum starts to skew slightly towards the side. So that's going through for a behind. So often what people do to get more distance on it is wind up around to the side and then kick across. But that's just skewing the momentum in ways that you don't want it. You wanna be directly linear. The wind is coming straight back at me. This emphasizes the need to kick really through the ball. Put all the force through your leg swing and kick through it nice and straight, nice and linear. You should do this with every set shot, but especially when the wind is coming against you. The second aspect of Druzy's theory of set shot goal kicking is the mental side. When I'm talking the mental side, I'm talking about performance routine, and breathing. Performance routine is important because it gives you confidence that you can execute the skill. Through practice of your performance routine, you execute the skill over and over and over again. So that when it comes to a game scenario, you're doing the same skill that you have practiced over and over and over. Kobe Bryant in the NBA was a relentless worker. He practiced every single shot that he thought he would take in a game of basketball. He did this because he wanted to know that he had practiced that shot so many times that when he was in a game situation, when it was coming down to crunch time, he knew that he wasn't being asked to do anything that he hadn't done before. Apply this to set shot goal kicking. Know your performance routine, have confidence in it so that you can have a little cheat sheet when you're doing your set shot, know it back and front and have confidence in it. You can create a performance routine by counting your steps. 
So some players take about 20 steps back and then when they take their set shot, they might take four little walks and then six jogs before kicking the pill. The other side of the mental part of the set shot routine is breathing. The main thing about breathing that makes it so effective in set shot goal kicking is bringing yourself to the moment. This bloke here is Phil Jackson and he's the most successful coach in NBA history. Coached Michael Jordan to six rings, Kobe to five rings, and he was massive on being in the moment, not letting anything that's happened before or what's gonna happen in the future affect what you are trying to execute. Taking a deep breath in, it levels you, you're calm. And when you exhale, it eliminates all the external noise and stimulus. This is one that you might have to practice if you're unfamiliar with meditation or just breathing in general. Let's bring back the distance so we can put more momentum through the ball. Bring back the distance so the set shot is true. For this set shot, I'm really gonna focus on my mental concentration. That's through performance routine and breathing at the start of your run up. What I like to do is when I'm bend over and I'm having my ball flicks, like so, I inhale to raise up my posture. Exhale and get moving. The inhale just calms you down ever so slightly. It gives you a good posture and you want a good posture. If you have a big posture with your chest out, shoulders back, you're in a confident position to kick the goal. You see this deep breath in the NBA and basketball a lot. The atmosphere is crazy. There's so many distractions. Lots of basketball players take a few bounces, have a deep breath. This just eliminates all the external noise and stimulus. Just take your mind off the pressure and all the external stuff that doesn't matter. Just focus on the task at hand. And counting your steps, it's just that repetition. We follow the path which we know we've done so many times before to execute the skill that we know how to do. That. Simple as that. The third principle in Drewzy's set shot goal kicking that you have to think about is projectile motion. Obviously the projectile is the football and the motion of it is how it moves. Who would have thought? What do you want to do with the projectile when taking a set shot, you ask? Well, I will tell you that on your ball drop, you do not want the ball to deviate in the air. Here is a good example. And here is a bad example. <laughs> You want to make sure that you drop the ball in a way that it sits nicely in the air so you can kick the underside of the, the point of the, of the ball. All right, I've got a football. So when you drop the ball, you want it to be straight. You don't want it to be wobbling. When you hit the ball, you want to hit this part, the underside of the ball on the ball drop so it gets a nice backspin. Bloody hell. So projectile motion, make sure the ball drops in an orderly manner. All you want to do is drop the ball. Drop, not throw up, drop. Now obviously, it's easy to execute this when you're straight out in front. The margin of error is much smaller. You have a lot more room to fail because the goal is directly in front of you. So even if you skew it to the left a bit or skew it to the right, you have a bigger chance than when the goal is like that. It's a matter of angles, mate. When you're on the side or in the pocket, it's like that. When you're out in front, it's like that. It's not rocket science, but I just hope it gets the cogs ticking in terms of what you're thinking about when you're having a set shot. I'm gonna apply it here. First shot that was. And as you can see, when I kicked the ball, I started it just to the right of the, the right goalpost because I knew that it would swing around. You gotta take into account the wind as well, obviously. The hardest conditions to kick in are windy conditions. Again, not rocket science, football science. The linear momentum is the most important thing for me. I don't even have to necessarily face my body directly to the, the two goalposts in the pocket, but as long as I kick the ball straight and set it where I think the wind will push it into the goal, for example there, to the right of the right goalpost, it should sit nicely. I'm gonna go for a second crack. If I get this, my theory is proven. Look, I'm not even a football player. It just took me two shots 
two from two. It's really not that hard. It's a matter of science. It's a matter of just executing the skill. That's all it is. Don't overthink it. That's why the breath is so important. Breathe in. Relax. You're in the moment. Nothing before or after is bothering you. You are just focusing on the job at hand, which is to kick the ball straight. And every single decent footballer can kick the ball straight. Get that linear momentum going. Kick the ball straight. I can't emphasize that enough. Kick the ball straight with a nice ball drop, linear momentum, set your body, the ball will go exactly to where you want it to go. You know what, let's reduce the angle. The angle has been reduced. If I get this, my theory of set shot kicking warrants me a Nobel Prize. All right, I can't pat myself on the back for that one simply because it only scored one point and not six. Where I was aiming my kick, that's exactly where the ball followed, the wind just dropped. So, where I went wrong there was not adjusting for the wind. Okay, the wind is directly behind me, should sail through. Oh, and the wind's changing, All right. Another grass test. So in the space of 10 seconds, the wind has gone from that way to that way but it is in this line. So as long as I just kick it, probably just inside the right goalpost, aim for there, should sail through. Let's have that, I mean, come on. That is Trucy's theory of AFL set shot goal kicking. What do you reckon about that? If you enjoyed it, if this helped you with your set shot, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, go follow my TikTok at underscore Druzy for more videos, watch my podcast and that, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. I mean, you can't make this up, ladies and gentlemen. I've hit the post about 20 times.